everyone, my name is Hilde and welcome back to my channel for part two in my Quidditch collection. This is just my golden snitches with one overlap item and you'll see why. These Lidjoy socks. Because while this is all brooms, this is all golden snitches. I wish they hadn't made them yellow on yellow because that's a bit hard to see, but otherwise, no complaint. Very cool, very comfortable socks. And of course, I have bins. And I will link all the creators down in the description box below. But this is from Universal Orlando. This is a, a pin my friend Kathy sent me. This is from Primark. It's not the greatest quality, but it looks cool, so there you go. This is a Christmas snitch by Pure Dead Brilliant, and this is a bunch of chocolate golden snitches by Mad Unicorn. And I love them all, I mean, golden snitches. Cool beans, right? I, I'm for sure not the only one who's into Quidditch and golden snitches. This guy is a Lumos charm, and they're usually meant to go on charm bracelets, but I put it on a thick leather cord so I can wear it as a necklace instead. And then I have some keychains. First up is this small one. And this is from the UK Harry Potter store. It's from the studio tour. I bought it online, obviously, but I like it a lot because sometimes you just don't want a giant keychain. And also these make for like really nice display items on my backboard in my studio. I'm sorry for all the noise in the background. That's my cat demolishing a paper box. Then I have this guy from Primark. It was only three euros. So I bought a few spare ones and it's good because the wings tend to break. And I had to already get rid of one because the wing snapped clear in two. And my husband did, did say to, to just glue it back together when it keeps breaking. And I also have this one from Primark, which I completely modded. I basically took the hardware off and then glued it all together and painted it so it would stick in place as like a display snitch or one I could use for flat lace. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but this wing point has all, well, the wing tip has already broken and I glued it back together because I didn't feel like taking another snitch apart. But yeah, it's, it's still good. Um, I'm sure that some of the Quidditch, Quidditch snitches, wow, words, are pretty battered and bruised. But you know, speaking of display snitches, this is an actually comes as this store-bought display snitch. This is the really cheap one that comes with a sticker book. I'm pretty sure a lot of Harry Potter fans have this in their collection and I'm no different. I'm not sure with which brand that is by. I can't really remember, but uh, I got it at Les Quatre Maisons and I think they still have it. I will link the site down below and um, then uh, hopefully it's listed on there. If not, if you really want, you could ask the owner, who also speaks English, even though the, the site is in the French part of Belgium. This is not a display snitch, even though it comes on like a little display pedestal thingamajig. This is the mystery golden snitch. It's the one where you can attach like, I'm not sure if, if it shows up. There's like this white part here and you can hook through this little um, super thin wire that is basically invisible when you're using it. And then you can just switch it on, hold on to the wire, and like make it fly. And some people are super good at it. I am not one of those people. I, I, I am really bad at it. And I also find that attaching the wire is like really fiddly. It works, it works. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't, but it's pretty fiddly. But I still am glad with it as a piece in my collection. And that one is by Wow Stuff, by the way. They're also, I'm reaching for another one. They're also the brand that um, make the light painter ones. Not the light up ones, the light painter ones. Then I have this heli ball snitch, which I need to charge. Um, yeah, basically when it's charged, uh, it comes with like this little cable and you can plug it in here. So it's like just little round connection points. And when you turn it on, you can like make it move 
with your hands holding it above it. I am ridiculously bad at it, but my cat Kiwi is ridiculously good at it, considering she is a cat and she doesn't make it crash into walls in the ceiling like I do, but it still flies when charged. So um, it is at least very, very sturdy. So there is that. But um, again, not the best toy. There's a, a remote control snitch coming out soon. I think I might have to give that a go because the toy snitches I have, not excellent at it. This is my last toy snitch. And this is basically, well, I like to call it a hacky sack snitch, but it's a LARP snitch, um, meaning that LARP stands for live action role play. So if you use weaponry in it, it's all like foam and latex. So you can't actually hurt yourself or anyone else. And this guy is like a snitch you can throw around. If you accidentally hit somebody with it, uh, it's fine because it won't hurt. Or you just can kick it around like a hacky sack. Um, I bought it because it was fun and I wanted to play with the cats with it and the sound's gone because the batteries run out and I haven't looked into how to replace the battery. I'm not sure if I can. I don't really mind. It's just fun to play with the cats. Um, they haven't wrecked it yet, even though there's a few teeny tiny claw marks. But um, other than that, fun stuff. It's also fun when you have small children who want to play Muggle Quidditch and, you know, would like to throw an actual snitch around. So would recommend, not sure if it's still available. It's by a brand called Factory Entertainment Inc. Um, who are based in California, it seems. So yeah, well, I, I got it at a shop in Antwerp. I will link it down below if I can find it because I've had it for a while. One more golden snitch which I nearly forgot about, which is shameful because it's on my body. And that is my golden snitch tattoo, which my friend Looney did. And I, 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 I know I won't be able to probably show it. I will try to film a brave attempt, but if it fails, there will be a photo insert. And then, um, yeah, we're, we're already up to my last item. And that is this small and cheap pocket hairbrush comes with a mirror and then you just flip it up and then it's a, a, a brush it's very handy to go in your bag i i feel um also job loves this <laughs> i will insert a clip of him getting brushed with it because he's like brush me human brush me he loves this thing the other cats are kind of like what is but job's like give <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah, and that was that for my small collection of golden snitches. I might have more next year, but in all likely, I will just have to do like a collection update in general, snitches and all other Quidditch things in one go. Also, if you hear meowing in the background, that's Salem who's nagging about, I don't even know what. Cats are spoiled, have everything they need, but will still nag. Yeah, you don't have to look at me like that, mister. <laughs> That was a serious cat stink guy who was throwing me. But anyway, if you, if you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment. Let me know if you collect golden snitches. Which one of my collection did you like? If you leave a comment, please be kind. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!